slope of the normal to an ellipse is 3 by 4 at a point and the eccentricity of the ellipse is 1 by 3. If this normal makes an acute angle with its focal chord through P, then find the value of phi sin beta. So, let us say we'll assume the general standard form of ellipse. So, the standard ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So, what they are saying is there is a point P. Okay, let us say there is point P. Through P, we are drawing a tangent. And then at that point, they are drawing a normal. So, this normal has slope, let us say this is alpha. So, tan alpha is equal to slope of normal. So, tan alpha is equal to 3 by 4, this is given. And then there is a focus. So, with the focal cord, with the focal cord, this line is making an angle normal is making an angle beta. So, let us say this is n. So, angle n p s is equal to beta, this is given. And ascendancy of the ellipse is given. So, e is equal to 1 by 3. So, now what we have to find? We have to find the value of beta, sin beta. Okay. So, what we do is, so first so we will use the property, so we will consider the directrix and then we will draw a tangent. So, this is point P, let us say this is Q and then there is a focus S. So, if I join this, so angle P S Q is equal to pi by 2. So, this is the property which we use. So, the angle subtended by the portion of the tangent at the focus, angle subtended by portion of the tangent between the point of contact and the directrix subtends an angle pi by 2 at the focus. So, this is what we are using now. So, this is 90. So, angle P, I mean S P Q I want, I know S P N. Angle C, angle N P Q is equal to pi by 2. This is angle between tangent and normal. Angle N P S plus S P Q is equal to pi by 2. So, angle S P Q is equal to pi by 2 minus beta, because angle N P S is beta. So, this angle is pi by 2 minus beta. So, which in turn will give us angle S q p is equal to beta. Angle S q p is beta. Okay. Now, what we do is we will consider, I mean we will drop a perpendicular from p to the directrix. So, if I drop a perpendicular from p to the directrix, so, let us say I will name it as m. So, if I drop a perpendicular uh, 
now see this is I mean this angle we want now so P Q M so angle P Q M is equal to angle made by the tangent with a vertical line angle made by the tangent with a vertical line because there is a vertical line. So, now this is the tangent. So, this angle we want. So, if I see properly now we use both the tangent and the normal. So, they are at 90 degrees. So, what we have is the angle made by the normal alpha is there. So, if the normal makes an angle alpha with the vertical with the vertical normal makes an angle phi by 2 minus alpha. So, at the point of contact at the point of contact draw a vertical. So, if you draw a vertical the normal still makes an angle of phi by 2 minus alpha with the vertical. So, then the tangent makes an angle alpha with the vertical. So, there is nothing but angle made by the normal with the horizontal with the horizontal line. So, which is alpha. So, now we will use triangle S P Q because we have a right angle triangle. So, S Q P this is beta use another right angle triangle P M Q P M Q. So, again at m it is 90 angle m p q m is alpha. So, if I use sin beta here sin beta is equal to s p by p q. Similarly, sin alpha is equal to p m by p q. So, if I divide these two sin alpha by sin beta is equal to p m by s p. So, according to the definition of conic I mean according to the definition of conic s p is equal to e into p m because s p is the focal distance p m is perpendicular distance from p to the directrix. So, s p equal to e into p m. So, s p by p m is equal to e. So, s p is equal to e into p m. So, p m by so I uh, coming again p m by s p is equal to 1 by e ok. So, we have tan alpha 3 by 4 sin alpha will be 3 by 5. So, 3 by 5 by sin beta is equal to 1 by 1 by 3. So, which is 3. So, 3 by 5 sin beta is equal to 3 which implies 5 sin beta is equal to 1. So, the value of phi sin beta is 1. So, what we are using? We are using a property of the ellipse and the directrix which they did not mention in the question. So, we have to consider the directrix from there we have to solve the problem.